Hello, my name is Austin McWilliams, and this is the How to Judge Dramatic Interpretation video. Now, if you haven't gotten the opportunity to actually go and watch the old video, the general instructions video, I was just going and watching that right now. If not, we will move on in dramatic interpretation. First, we just have the simple general disclaimer. Dramatic interpretation is a lot of different things to a lot of different people. It can be about really any different subject with one or multiple characters. What I'm about to tell you is only the simple opinion of those at 3P Speech and the general modern views of the National Forensics League, most indicated by what finals at the National Tournament. And with that, let's get started. Today we're going to explore three different categories to help you choose a dramatic interpretation between the one and the six. Those three categories are realism, story, and connection. First of all, and most importantly, dramatic interpretation comes down to realism. This is truly the true acting event. While this element will be in other interpretation events, many will have fantastical characters and cheap laughs. Dramatic interpretation seeks to create a real, dramatic environment, while the performers literally become the characters they hope to portray. Stereotypical topics tend to be biographies and personal memoirs, surrounding mostly one character. Some of my personal favorite performances in years past have been Judy Garland in 2009, you know, once I had a fan ask me if all the munchkins in The Wizard of Oz were really all drunks. The wife of an unnamed president in 2010. Well, did you know that, that the first time I met my husband, we were both working as volunteers for a local political campaign. <laughs> so you see, volunteering can be rewarding. <laughs> Muhammad Ali in 2011. See, during my career, you didn't see the real Muhammad. It wasn't until after I retired that my true work, it had began. A woman who loves crafts in 2012. I also deeply enjoy scrapbooking. And Nikki Six in 2012. I'm strung out. And I'm too, uh, I'm too ashamed. One character is by no means a rule, as there are multiple performances that have been done very, very well that have multiple characters. I would even encourage to have more than one character to show true acting range. Nonetheless, having too many characters can decrease our emotional connection to the character and therein the story. Again, not a rule, just my personal preference. Next, we have out the story. Does the person have an overall story, a purpose, something to keep the audience engaged? This doesn't have to be a physical story like The Land Before Time, but can simply be the person's journey of self-awareness and self-reflection, like Into the Wild, if we're gonna make movie connections, that is. The really important thing, though, is that the person should not be in a continual climax. What I mean by that is this. Just because we're seeking drama in dramatic interpretation doesn't necessarily mean that every single moment must be filled with drama, like a thriller, or that something so terrible continues to happen that they can't help but screaming every single line they say. Every single line. It gets old really fast. Rather, like in all good stories, there should be a continual progression to a certain point, what we call a climax. Lastly, we talk about the connection. Drama, more than anything else, has the ability to connect an audience with a performer and tug on the audience's heartstrings. So while we clearly want to look for this, we also have a warning here too. Just because something is sad doesn't necessarily make it a good dramatic interpretation. For example, we could have a story about a woman with an abusive husband who gets hooked on drugs, who gets pregnant, gets cancer, has her best friend get killed in a car accident, she loses her baby trying to give birth to it in the backseat of a car, and then either commits suicide or finds Jesus. While this story might be sad or even touching, I personally most of all take into consideration realism when assessing the sadness of a story. Because I truly believe that anyone can find a sappy story. It takes a real dramatic actor to bring that story to life. If you ever want to know what it looks like to give an emotionally packed, real performance, go and watch Lady Miz and see Anne Hathaway sing I Dream to Dream all in one take. So, overall we have realism, story, and connection. These are just the basics. Again, there is so much more to dramatic interp than this. Hope you have a good time judging, and to those students, hope you have a fun time performing. And while you're at it, go and check out the other videos that we've made here on the 3P Speech YouTube site. Thank you, and good night. That was weird.